Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss encoding of linear block codes. A code is said to be linear if two code words are added using a mod 2 arithmetic produces a third code which is also in the code. If such property is there, then we call it as a linear block code. Try to understand a basic concept. We use a parity bits. For example, I want to have these data I want to transmit. To make it even parity, simply I append 0 or 1 just to make a number of 1s as even. Now here I have no zero, all zeros, so therefore number of 1s are even. Here I have only one, one I am appending to make it as even, like that remaining. Now the same concept I am going to generalize. Now I have a d1, d2, d3, d4, 4 bits are there for one message. I want to add one parity bit, not considering all 4. I will consider the first and second, I will make it 0 or 1 here to make even parity. Now what I have to do here? 0. What about here? 0 because 1 and 2 I am considering to make even parity, I have to make a 0. Here 1. Here I have to make 0. So another parity I want to add considering only second bit and third bit. Pause here and check here what you are supposed to write. Similarly the third parity bit I am going to append considering a third bit and fourth bit. Pause here and try to write this answer in your notebook then compare it. These are the answers to make an uh, even parity. Now let us consider I have information like this. The combination of zeros and ones many are there. Encoding procedure is very simple. Information sequence is segmented into messages blocks of k. Now in this case I have taken 1, 2, 3, 4. In the previous case 4 bits at a time. I can take generally k bits at a time. Each message block is transformed into a larger block of n bits by encoder. How? By adding additional bits. If you take this previous example, 4 bits are data bits, additional 3 bits are added or appended as a redundant or parity bits. The way how we represent generalized message bits followed by parity bits and message bits are k, total n bits I am using n minus k will be the parity bits. To understand you can see the previous example. Total number of bits are 7. In that 4 are data bits. 3 are parity bits. So this is the way how we represent in general the linear block code. Let message block be a row vector. So d1, d2, d3 up to dk. Each bit may be 0 or 1. How many combinations I will get? 2 raised to k. If 3 are there, d1, d2, d3, 2 raised to 3, 8 combinations I will get. Similarly, 2 raised to k in general. Now, code word. I am going to write c1, c2, c3 up to cn. Each bit may be 0 or 1. How many code words I will get? 2 raised to k only. Because for those data bits, I am writing a parity bits. Rate of code or code efficiency is given by k by n, where k is a number of message bits, n is the number of bits available in the code word. Now just go through and try to remember and understand weight of the code is number of non-zero element or you can say number of ones available. In this example number of ones are 5. When all code words have an equal weight then you can say it is a fixed weight or constant weight code. Systematic code is nothing but if beginning bits of a code word are data word or data bits beginning bits of a code word are data bits then I can say it is a systematic linear block code how we generate see these parity bits how we generate I told 1 and 2 I will consider I will write a parity bit this I am not considering third and fourth bit so like that in general I can write ck plus 1 this is ck plus 1 what I am going to consider 1 and 2 3 4 I am not considering like that whether I am considering D1 or D2 or D3 or D4 or not, based on this P11, P21, P31, PK1, generalized equation we have written. For this, similarly for this, similarly for this, in general we can write like this. 
and even we can write those equations in the matrix representation also. This is the way how we write a generator matrix. This is an identity matrix followed by a parity matrix. And in this parity matrix, this gives you an equation. To get this parity, I am considering the D1 bit, D2 bit, D3 bit. And for second parity, I am considering a D4, D5, D6. Similarly, remaining equations are given in this. You pause and try to understand. Now, code word how we generate? Code word is given by data bits followed by your generated matrix. In brief, you can remember C equal to D into G. Where a G is given by I, identity matrix like this, followed by a parity matrix. Now, the parity matrix is given by P transpose followed by identity matrix. Where P transpose is the transposed P matrix and I is the identity matrix. With example, we are going to discuss this. The matrix used to verify, this H matrix is used to verify the code word is generated by a particular G matrix or not. How? We use a CH transpose equal to 0. The code word into H transpose, if gives a 0, then I can say that code is generated by G. IFF means if and only if. Equations what we are using is a C equal to D into G, G equal to I followed by P and H equal to P transpose I, CH transpose equal to 0. This we are using S equal to R transpose for decoding the words. Take one example to understand the whole concept. Consider 7 4 code. 7 means total N. K means 4. So this is a parity check matrix is given. Find all the code words of the above code. Now in this example the H is given and n comma k is given. Now we know the equation h equal to p transpose i g equal to i followed by parity matrix. So simply from h I will get a p. So from p what I do I will take a p transpose is there again if I take a p transpose I will get a p so that this p can be written. i identity matrix is known to everybody. Simply write i followed by p. How I write this p? Taking a p transpose. Again transpose, I will get a P. Once if we get a G, I know C equal to D into G. Simply I write D followed by G. For example, D is D1, D2, D3, D4. In this case, it is 0, 0, 0, 0 up to 1, 1, 1, 1 I have to consider. This is a G. Simply multiply this into this and write the answer. And another way how we can do, C5 is given by D1 plus D2 plus D3. How we write? D1 plus D2 plus D3. Second, C6 equal to D1 plus D2 plus D4. D1 plus D2 plus D3 is not there, D4. Like that, considering the first column of P, second column of T, I have to do. So if D1 is 1, D2 is 1, D4 is 1, all bits are 1, will it become 3? No, I have to use mod 2. Always 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Again, plus 1 is 1. Now, take all the combinations, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1 at a time, multiply and write the answer that will become your code word. Pause here, try to find all the code words. These are the code words using this G, C equal to D into G. Simply I am multiplying. Say for example this 0, 1, 0, 0. No doubt beginning bits will be same 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. But how I got 1, 1, 0, 0. Multiply here 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. This will become 1. 0, 1, 0, 0. So this will become 1. It's a multiplication. How to multiply? 0, 1, 0, 0, you have to multiply with this. Say for example, 1 into 0, 1 into 1, 0 into 1, 0 into 0, add all, mod 2, you will get an answer. Similarly, remaining bits also I had done. You pause here, do all these combinations up to 1, 1, 1, 1 and find a code words, cross verify your answer with this. These are the code words. Take another example. Gender matrix is given. Block codes you have to find out. And G is there. How to find out? G is given. All of us know C equal to D into G. And uh, in this case, 
K is 3, hence I take D1, D2, D3, all the combinations starting from all 0 to all 1. Simply multiply with the G, write the answers. Pause here, solve it, compare your answer with this. Take another example. Sometimes they may give the equation only. C5, fifth bit is given by D1 plus D2 plus D4 like that. So what I have to do? I know this, 8 comma 4. Now this is your parity matrix. Directly you can write G or directly you can write P. So if you write G, you can write C equal to D into G. So what you get? G is identity matrix, all of us know. And this parity matrix, how to write from the equation? D1 plus D2 plus D4. D1 plus D2, D3 is not there, D4. This is just what I do it. Once if you have a C, writing a C is not a problem. C equal to D into G. That's all. Take another example. If they give you syndrome equations, what to do, sir? Syndrome equations, he is giving H transpose. Now, H transpose you write down. Take a transpose, you will get H. Then from H, you know how to get G. Consider another example. Now, in this, we have the equation, syndrome equation. Now, simply syndrome equation I am right here. R0 is there, R1, R2 is not there, R3 is there, R4 is not there, R5, R6 is there. So, like that, these three equations I will write as H transpose. Once if I get the H transpose, I know how to write H. Take a transpose of this, you will get H. Once if you get H, you will get a P transpose. Once if you get a P transpose, you can write a G. And once if you get a G, C equal to D into G, you will get all the code words. And these are the references. And uh, for more information, you can visit these links. And thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please share with your classmates. Thank you.